Remember that nothing worth doing is ever easy. You'll have bad moments. I used to give speeches on success. I don't give them anymore. It was, that, that's what they like the best. You got to love what you're doing. And if you don't, just do something else. You'll never be successful unless you get lucky, which could happen. But if you don't love what you're doing, find something else. If you don't love NASA, if you don't love space, do something else. But you got to love it. If you don't love it, you're just not going to, it's not going to happen. You have to follow your passion. You have to do what you want to do. You have to listen to people. You have to go around and say, what's a good industry? Because I know people that love things, but they're behind the eight ball because they're going into something that's not a good industry. So if you can find something else, because there are industries that are so great and there, there are places that are heading in the wrong direction and things. You want to try and be in that upslope if you can find your passion there. If you can't, still stick what you have to stick with. And speak your mind, ask questions of it. But try and go into something where you can have a wonderful life, where it just is worthwhile. Because there are some things that, it's tough. Keep standing up always for your values. Keep loving your country. And one of the most important things, never, ever quit. Never quit. I don't know if it's an ability or if you have it. Just, you can't quit. And I've seen people quitting. And if they would have held out longer, they would have been successful. I've seen it so much. I've seen some of the most brilliant people in the world that never made it because they were quitters. They were just quitters. They would quit. They, would, they just couldn't take it. They couldn't whatever. One of the things about loving what you do is that it's not work and therefore you don't quit automatically. It's a lot easier not to quit, but you can never give up. Now, you have to also have flexibility, though. Uh, you can't necessarily say, I'm never giving up, I'm going to, and you got to be able to weave and bob. You don't have to go through a, a concrete wall when you can go over it or around it or under it or something. You have to have flexibility. You have to always be able to change course a little bit, maybe always with that same goal, but don't quit. In order to be successful, and you people are well on the road to success, you have to find out what makes you excited, what makes you want to get up each morning and go to work. If you love what you do and dedicate yourself to your work, then you will gain momentum. And look, you have to. You need the word momentum. You will gain that momentum. And each success will create another success. The word momentum. I'll tell you a story that's very interesting for me. When I was young, there was a man named William Levitt, Levittown. You have some here, you have some in different states. Anybody ever hear of Levittown? And he was a very successful man, became unbelievable, he was a home builder, became an unbelievable success and got more and more successful. And he'd build homes and at night he'd go to these major sites with teams of people and he'd scour the sites for nails and sawdust and small pieces of wood and they'd clean the site so when the workers came in the next morning the sites would be spotless and clean and he did it properly and he did this for 20 years and then he was offered a lot of money for his company and he sold his company for a tremendous amount of money at the time especially this is a long time ago sold his company for a tremendous amount of money and he went out and bought a big yacht so he had a very very interesting life and the company that bought his company was a big conglomerate and they didn't know anything about building homes and they didn't know anything about picking up the nails and the sawdust and selling it and the scraps of wood. This was a big conglomerate based in New York City. And after about a 10 year period, they were losing a lot with it. It didn't mean anything to them and they couldn't sell it. So they called William Levitt up and they said, would you like to buy back your company? And he said, yes, I would. He so badly wanted, he got bored with this life of yachts and sailing and all of the things he did in the south of France and other places. But what happened is he bought back his company 
And he bought back a lot of empty land. And he worked hard on getting it zoning. And he worked hard on starting to develop. And in the end, he failed. And he failed badly. Lost all of his money. He went personally bankrupt. And he was now much older. And I saw him at a cocktail party. And it was very sad because the hottest people in New York were at this party. It was the party of Steve Ross. Steve Ross, who was one of the great people he came up and discovered, really founded Time Warner. And he was a great guy. He had a lot of successful people at the party. And I was doing well, so I got invited to the party. I was very young. And I go in, but I'm in the real estate business. And I see a hundred people, some of whom I recognize, and they're big in the entertainment business. And I see sitting in the corner was a little old man who was all by himself. Nobody was talking to him. I immediately recognized that that man was the once great William Levitt of Levittown. And I immediately went over. I wanted to talk to him more than the Hollywood show business communications people. So I went over and talked to him. And I said, Mr. Levitt, I'm Donald Trump. He said, I know. He said, Mr. Levitt, how are you doing? He goes, not well, not well at all. And I knew that, but he said, not well at all. And he explained what was happening and how bad it's been and how hard it's been. And I said, what exactly happened? Why did this happen to you? You're one of the greats ever in our industry. Why did this happen to you? And he said, Donald, I lost my momentum. I lost my momentum. A word you never hear when you're talking about success, when some of these guys that never made 10 cents, they're on television giving you things about how you're going to be successful. And the only thing they ever did was a book and a tape. But I tell you, I'll tell you, it was very sad. And I never forgot that moment. And I thought about it. And it's exactly true. He lost his momentum, meaning he took this period of time off long years. And then when he got back, he didn't have that same momentum. In life, I always tell this to people, you have to know whether or not you continue to have the momentum. And if you don't have it, that's okay. Because you're gonna go on and you're gonna learn and you're gonna do things that are great. But you have to know about the word momentum. But the big thing, never quit, never give up, do something you love. When you do something you love, as a scout, I see that you love it. But when you do something that you love, you'll never fail. What you're going to do is give it a shot again and again and again. You're ultimately going to be successful. And remember this, you're not working. And at the end of a year, you're not really working. You don't think of it as work. When you're not doing something that you like, or when you're forced into do something that you really don't like, that's called work. And it's hard work and tedious work. So as much as you can, do something that you love, work hard, and never, ever give up, and you're going to be tremendously successful. Tremendously successful.